Mila, or I have a question for you. Um, if God is omnipotent, omnipotent meaning all powerful, why does He let us fall into sin? I get that it's free, it's free will, but if He loves us and we open our hearts, why does He still let us let good people fall into sin? That's a very good question. I, I think I think perhaps it's um it's very important to understand what sin is. And sin, uh, in the in the Greek, the word is hamartia, which actually means to miss the mark. So, now when we really think about that question, which is very beautiful, God is all-powerful, and He's able to do these things, and in love, why is it that I'm able to commit sin? Well, that's because, as the person who asked the question very rightly said, because we're free beings. But I'll dive deeper into that. If we were not free, then we would not be able to freely choose Him. We would not be able to freely receive His love. If we're not freely receiving His love and freely choosing Him and freely loving Him, then love isn't real at all. And then there is no such thing as sin because there is no such thing as choice. So it's very important that we understand that the opportunity to miss the mark is not the same as God telling you to miss the mark. He is the mark, and He wants you, and He loves you. In His entirety, He gives you all of who He is. He doesn't leave a dot of who He is. He gives you everything. He takes all of what is ours. He doesn't find anything a problem or a limitation. He will do whatever it takes but what he doesn't do is he doesn't evade your freedom to make that choice. Because if he did, then what he's doing isn't love, and God is love. And also, if he did, then he's robbing you of the choice and the chance to choose him truly. So it's not real love if it's not freely received and freely given. And that means, if you think of the mark as an archer trying to aim for the target, and God is the mark, the question then sounds, why does God let me miss the mark? Well, the issue isn't God missing, missing the mark, making people or letting me miss the mark. We do that out of our weakness and we will all do it. God accept, accepts us in our weakness. He doesn't say, come to me sinless, come to me perfect. If he did, then we wouldn't need him. We wouldn't need his grace, his love. But we need him. And when we realize that in humility, then that question becomes a lot more wonderful. The fact that despite the fact that I sometimes freely choose not God rather than God, and He always chooses us, what a wonderful situation.